Hi guys, okay, so on today's customer question, uh, or today's customer question is from Vladimir H. So basically he says, Hi Pattern Lab, I've drafted my block using a standard EU size, however, I would like to edit the standard measurements post-purchase. Is it possible? I found a guide on your website, but I can't see the option to edit the standard measurements. Okay, so um, yes, essentially um, before we did our most recent release, this was not actually possible. You couldn't edit standard sizes. So let me just show you what a standard size is and how you draft a block with it. So this is obviously the lab. And at the moment we have our most latest block, which is the leggings block, uh, which is a stretch block. So basically in this chart here, um, if you click on it, you can see that you have all these different various sizes. And you can also show more, which gives you all of the various sizes that we uh, use to draft our blocks. Let's just show less. So essentially he drafted this block using one of these standard sizes, which is absolutely fine. So let's go for a UK standard 10. He went through the whole process and then obviously drafted his block and obviously paid for it. And the, his order would be in his library. So let's just go to the library. So originally, before um, our latest release, you couldn't actually um, edit standard sizes. Um, it was just not possible. However, um, after receiving this, this message, we have actually done a little bit of tinkering and we've managed to um, allow this for standard sizes. So this is just a block that I created. Um, so it's a PDF pattern, UK standard size 10, so it's a standard size, and it's a women's leggings block, which is our new block. So I'm just going to go edit, preview, and download. Let's just bring up this block here, okay, so perfect. This is what you'd normally see for a standard size, but originally you, wouldn't, you weren't able to edit your measurements. However, now um, you are able to do that. So if we click on Edit Measurements, you can now actually go back into the block. This is a dance wear block, so let's just go to that one. You can now go back into the block and edit your measurements uh, exactly the same way that you would be able to if you had um, a, let's say, bespoke profile or one that used, let's say, your client's unique measurements. So you can now obviously edit those standard sizes. Once again, we have restrictions on the waist and hip and bust. Uh, it only allows you to edit it three times. This just prevents um, from creating multiple size blocks from the one product, let's say. Um, but yes, you can now obviously edit and change those measurements. Let's make that 21.6, for example. And it changes it. And you can change these ones uh, up to as many times as you like, okay? Obviously, these ones you can't. And so, for example, if you had a bodice, you know, you could also change these measurements as well. Okay, and just click Done, and it'll basically redraft that block. So let's change that to, it was 20.6, I believe. Let's change it to 22, just to sake of the argument. Let's just click Done. And essentially, the lab will, there you go. It's just redrafting now. And it'll redraft that block with that new measurement, okay? So the waist to hip would now be 21 points, sorry, 22.6 centimeters. And that's essentially how you edit your standard measurements, which is a new concept in Pattern Lab. So once again, to get to that, you obviously need to log into your account, go to your library, which is where all of your existing orders are stored. And then from there, you could select which order you wanted to edit. And so they go UK standard size four. And obviously this applies to all existing blocks that you've created using standard sizes. So there's our block. And we can just go in and simply edit those measurements there. Okay, perfect. So yeah, hopefully that gives you a little bit more sort of like flexibility when it comes to drafting your blocks. And there you go, it's just refreshing. And uh, yeah, hopefully that helps. Thank you very much, Vladimir. And um, yeah, wait for next time on customer questions. Sorry, I'll see you next time on customer questions. Thank you.